I'm staying in Ontario for this one. Hi guys, welcome to Off The Tent. My name is Chris and today we are doing a beer from Ontario that Redbeard gave a 10 out of 10. So it's my turn to do this beer. So let's do this one right here. Yes guys, today from Flying Monkeys Craft Brewery out of Barrie, Ontario, we are looking at Sparkle Puff. This would be a triple IPA that's coming in at a whopping 10.2% alcohol by volume. It's a 473 milliliter can, and it looks like it's going to be extra strong beer. So we are doing Sparkle Puff. That's what we're doing. This one right here. I like this artwork. It totally reminds me of Rick and Morty. But anyway, let's get into this beer. Um, like I said earlier, in the, before the intro Redbeard gave this beer a 10 out of 10 of course you guys know on my channel we don't really do numbers but you know I'll give you my own opinion anyway all right and you posted on his Instagram that he did this beer and there's no particulates and I don't believe him he probably just didn't rice roll it but anyway that's what we are doing. We are looking at a lots of particulate hazy looking triple IPA. That's what we're looking at here. So it's a fucking snow globe. It's a snow globe, as Joe from the Beer Patrol would say. She's a snow globe. Anyway, it's coming off um, orange, turbid, sure. Um, yeah, murky. Why not? All right, let's take a smell. Oh, this one does play the part of a juice bomb, though, that's for sure. This one's coming off with all kinds of, all kinds of grapefruit on this one. I got a little bit of pineapple and a little bit of an orange pithiness from this one. Um, I want to say it's a little bit green. There's a little bit of a, of a hot burn on the nose, but that could be just me because I haven't done a New England style IPA in a while. I don't know, I'm just making shit up now. But anyway, we're going to drink this. Cheers. Where to start first? Do I talk about the mouthfeel or do I talk about the actual taste of the beer? Let's talk about the mouthfeel. This beer is lower side of medium. Sure, why not? I'd expect it to be a little bit higher in the body there, but you know, at 10.2%, but it's not. It's on the lower side of medium. I'm not really, you know, it's not that bad of a, a thing, but it's kind of hoping it would be a little bit of a, of a bigger body on this beer. It is going down a little bit creamy, which is nice. Um, you got a little bit of, um, I want to see a little bit of stickiness, but I don't know, hold on. Yeah, a little bit stickiness, a little bit sweet. I like it. No burn. 10.2%, you can't tell. Yeah, so if I was going, if I was going to go blind on this one, I would say maybe this is at about 6%. Five and a half, you can't, there's absolutely no burn on this one. Let's talk about what I taste. As I stare at my cat, staring right at me. Okay, the nose is pretty hit, hits this one right on the uh, on the head because we are getting all kinds of great food on this one. Pineapple and orange pithiness. And I'm having a problem saying pith, pithiness. Mike Tyson would have a problem saying that. Just saying. Um, you know what, guys? This is awesome. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Flying Monkeys, you made a good beer here. You made a nice, good triple IPA. It's hazy. I just wish that it would look a little bit better than having all the, the particulates in there floating around. I mean, sure, it's unfiltered. It's hazy, but it kind of makes me wonder what the fuck that is in there floating around. But uh, anyway, guys, in my own opinion... Pick this one up, guys. You will not, 
you will not be disappointed with this one. A little bit expensive with the LCBO. We're looking at uh, $4.95 for that can. But it's 10.2%. You really can't complain. Um, anyway, guys, I'm done with this my own opinion quickie. Uh, like the video if you want. Don't forget to comment. Let me know down below if you've had this one. And you know what, guys? Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.